what is up everybody uh back here with another youtube video it's been a while since um i've posted videos on this channel um i have been semi-active on my other channel um link is in description for those of you who don't know and who want to check that content out like i said it's more about vlogs comedy stuff sketches um just things of that nature more so than um football boot reviews i do other unboxing on that channel as well but mostly just like sneakers and stuff like that um but uh yeah today i thought i would just you know talk i have some sh um, boots that i was going to unbox packages that i got but if you know the coronavirus has just taken over the world right now literally the world is at a standstill right now um and it's crazy to think about you know so I've had these packages since before this, uh, we went into like quarantine or whatever you want to call it. Um, I just d didn't feel up to, you know, um, making videos, making video during this time. Uh, so I've kind of just laid low with the unboxings, you know, I haven't really ordered stuff because of that. Since that's happened, I finally did uh, put an order on the new uh, Neymar boots that were released today. So it should be coming on Wednesday. So I'll have another video up, hopefully, around that time. Um, but it's the coronavirus hit the Memphis um, warehouse, um, Nike's Memphis warehouse. So that's a little bit concerning. I don't. I know sometimes I do get stuff from them from I think Indiana. I'm not sure. Um, so maybe there's a chance that those aren't coming from there. Um, because I paid for the $5 two-day shipping. And if I didn't pay for that option, free shipping, they wouldn't come till the 17th of April. So that's over a week. So I feel they're prioritizing what they can, maybe, if you can get the two-day shipping. Um, sometimes it does come in multiple packages, even if you order multiple things. Because I ordered something else as well. Um, they have a really good sale going on. So if you're watching this, I think until the 8th. What's today? The 6th? Yeah, so to the 8th, I think, they have 25% off extra. If you're a, um, a Nike employee still, um, there you s can put 25% extra on that. So I actually got the Neymar boots that were just released. Got them for 120 some when they're normally 250 260 something like that. With my discount, regular discount, they would have been still 160 some I think. And then with the 25% off, they're to like 120 some So... I'm like, eh, I might as well get them. If I don't like them, I can just ship them back. Obviously, there's no stores open right now um, to go in and physically return something. Um, but yeah, so I kind of just want to open up um, these packages, get them out of the way, you know, because they're just sitting here and I'm tired of looking at them. I just want to open them up, you know, not really discuss them, just kind of do an unboxing and, and talk to you guys a little bit. If you guys want to listen, um, feel free to stay <laughs> watching this video um, but if you don't you know I, I understand right now the world has other important things to do than to be watching unboxing videos but at the same time it is a little bit of a, a way to escape you know I haven't been working now it's like my third week I believe thankfully um, you know shout out to Nike they are still play, paying all the employees I don't know how long that's gonna last and I say that because I really don't feel they can keep paying us and I totally do not blame them if they want to do something else, go a different route maybe for us. Um, but so far they have taken care of us. Um, some people that don't even deserve, <laughs> I don't want to say that, but there's some people that don't even deserve really to get paid, um, still getting paid. Um, people who think about it are working, you know, the people who are going to, um, going to school that are working minimal the minimal amount of hours are getting paid like way much more because of this because they give a average amount of hours so like if you're full-time uh you will get paid 80 hours a check and if you're part-time i think you get 50 and there's a lot of people that don't even work close to that and you know this is two weeks so um there's a lot of people that don't even work get you know come close to making those 50 hours so it's kind of a little bonus to them again I don't know how long uh, they're going to keep up with that, but shout out to Nike, man, for, for taking care of us. You know, I, I, I love the company that I work for. Um, not so much where I work, the store, but on a retail level, but as a company as a whole, 
really great company and really recommended not just for the discount but you know for other things um with that being said let's uh <laughs> that's that's funny that i'm talking about nike in my job because none of these boots here are nikes but um yeah so i do have some more packages coming in that i've ordered um but i'm gonna let them sit just because i don't want to handle them so usually i've been getting if i got in a package like amazon or something i just let it sit in like the garage or something like that before i actually touch it bring it in i spray it um and yeah just being cautious man and i hope you guys are being cautious too um because like i said this coronavirus is affecting a, a, a lot of people and i don't think it's done that's the scary part that i don't i think it's really really just you know starting and that's why i feel that nike's gonna have to do something and and i totally would you know agree with them i saw under armor they are gonna do like they're gonna lay off their employees which i think is you know pretty good because then they can collect an appointment although there's so many people on employment right now um i don't know how they would go about you know paying them all or if it's gonna be a you know a sudden payment or or how they're gonna work that out but there's a lot of people on unemployment so i don't know how they're gonna do that so but um i wouldn't be mad at nike if they you know laid us off or something like I, i'd be happy if they just uh you know laid me off and then said you know just come we'll get you your job back once i know there's a word for it i just don't remember the word as long as they just give me my job back when time comes um i'd be happy with that <laughs> uh but yeah so basically i got these shoes off of ebay i've done reviews on them already i unboxed them i just got different colors because i wanted some different colors it's the the manriquez of course um let's see this one is red and white and this is white and blue let's open the white and blue first see what it looks like okay. not bad i think i'll just change the laces a little bit and the, like again like you can just smell the leather right away you know and i think i'm pretty sure it's leather all the way through a lot of um you know shoes nowadays aren't made um like that with the leather full there's always like leather in the front and then a synthetic in the back um, but these completely smell like all leather yeah like i said i don't like the shoelaces the blue shoelaces so i'm going to change them to white and of course it has a famous fold over tongue that i really really appreciate uh i would say hmm this is a little different from my previous ones that i had and the fact that this is feels a little bit thinner which i don't mind that so it feels a little bit thinner um again the problem that i had with these i'm probably gonna paint this white as well and just keep uh the, the m i guess blue a little dirty stain right there but no big deal so i probably will paint this white if i can if i can white it out um i just want the whole white shoe i like that look better and then just the blue in the front um but yeah this feels a little bit different I'm not going to say cheap, but not as padded. And maybe I should wipe. Should I wipe that out? What do you guys think? I don't know. Anyways, I really enjoy this playing in this. Um, because, you know, yeah, I have a lot of materials. I have a lot of, you know, more expensive um, cleats. And I, I do pay money for those like a, a dummy that I shouldn't be. Um, but this is just a great option, you know. For the fields that I play on, for as much as I play that I'm not competitive, um, you know, these work out good for me. I would be fine playing in these, you know, for, for the ending of my career, I guess you could say. Uh, it's just a slip. And then these are red and white. Oh, okay. Okay. Look at that. Not bad. Oh, this one has red on the tongue. And a red strap again smells like leather really good and i like this i like this red look i'm into the whole old school retro look so this fold over tongue a la adidas 
predator you know it just looks cool there's not many people that wear this there's a lot of older people who wear the copa mundial but it just doesn't have that elastic that you know you just need so it's cool Are, they, they look different in when you're viewing them online though they got more shiny but these are pretty bright i like them i can't wait i can't wait to get back on the field man i can't i, I just can't wait to get back to watching sports you know we were right in champions league you know it, it, it was champions league time and and it just had to stop because of this, you know. All the players that were getting it, I think Juventus in Italy, I think they might have been the, the most players that that had it. And then in the news, I saw today that Pep Guardiola, he, he lost his mom to this. She was 82 years old and lost it to the coronavirus. So, man, my condolences to, to him. Obviously, it means nothing coming from me, but... You know, it's we all just need prayer sometimes, and for you know, we send our prayers to those people, and I think it gets to them somehow, you know, some way. Um, but yeah, so that's very sad news to hear, and it's it really sucks if you ask me. You know, this is just a terrible thing that's happened, and, and we we gotta we gotta come out on top. You know, I hope people are staying home. You know, if you go out to get food whatever you need to do that is fine but other than that i hope everybody is staying home you know what are you, what are you guys doing to pass the time let me know if you're in the comments i want to hear um there's probably still a lot of people that still have to work or find something to do and i understand that Ew, okay so these are from Soccer.com, um, the magazine. This, like I said, these have been sitting here for a while, so I don't even know what. These are probably all old shoes now. Um, but I'll let you take a guess. Put a guess in the comments what shoe this is. <laughs> no one's going to know, obviously. <laughs> but anyways, okay, so it's the Puma King Platinum. Oh, guess the colorway, but you can't guess the colorway. I have both colorways that came out, but I didn't do an unboxing for the other one. But you ready, ready, ready? Boom. Oh, this is my first time seeing these in person. Look at these. These are beautiful. This reminds me a lot of the color of the um, Mercurios that came out last summer. Look at this blue. It is beautiful, vibrant. Um, I do have the all black platinum, King Platinum. This is the Puma King Platinum. I haven't got to wear them yet, obviously. It comes with pretty, pretty heavy duty uh, string bag. Um, and then it comes with this return of the Puma King Platinum thing. So. And then this kind of just shows, like, the making of it, I guess you can say, what goes into it. It says the heel brand directly comes from our brand heritage and DNA. The external, external heel counter from also ensures stability and heel lockdown. And just a whole bunch of little things. It says this soft, high quality, quality K leather upper provides premium ball control and feel in all conditions. Which is really funny because they just released a Puma King Platinum, I think laser something like that and it's actually supposedly supposedly supposed to improve you can touch on the ball your feel for the ball because a lot of people say that these are um this back here like you don't it's slot it slips the ball slips off um and it is slippery um, but they did change on that one there's a different texturing on the on the boot sorry i should have said on the cleat different texturing and then this part is gone you see this uh internal thing for structure right there that is gone on the the i guess part two you would say but i i love this color so that's the reason why i got them even though like i said why do i need to buy more boots but it's a really good deal on soccer.com and i feel like right now is your best time if if you can afford it if you can afford it only you know don't don't be trying to break the bank 
or or if you're struggling, you know, I understand. Right now would probably be the best time to um, get a pair of cleats, high-end cleats, if you don't have any or you're just looking for a new pair because, you know, the the, the timing right now or people, you know, I'm, I'm getting emails, constant emails on sales that stuff is on sale or to buy this, buy that. So if you can, I would say take advantage of it and yeah i mean like i said this is a strange time you know no one's on soccer fields my season is done for now i don't know when we're gonna start back up i don't know when the parks are gonna open back up uh, but yeah let, let me know in the comments what you have been doing if you've been trying to stay in shape what kind of workouts you've been doing um, are you still buying new cleats, you know, even though you can't really test them out to the fullest? Um, are you staying in quarantine? Or are you still hanging out with friends? I would hope not because th the best thing we can do is just do what we're supposed to so they can just go back to, to normal. Um, and me also, I've been trying to do some like DJing. I guess you could say on Facebook, on Instagram, you know, just trying to play music for people because, you know, we can't, we're not supposed to be doing nothing. We can't really do nothing. So it's kind of a hobby, fun thing for me just to kind of get on there. Um, I will link my Instagram. You don't have to follow just if you feel like it. You know, I don't really post much of my content from YouTube, but I'll put it on there. So if you guys want to follow, um, let me know if, if you come from, from my YouTube page and um, if you follow me, but that's my video for today. Everybody, everybody, please, please, please stay safe. You know, that's the main concern. Shoes don't matter. You know, even playing soccer, playing football, playing sports just don't matter. Take care of your family. Um, let's do what we're supposed to do. And we'll go back to normal, hopefully, very, very soon. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.